Hi, this is Tracy with StampingWithTracy.com and today we're going to make an envelope punch board box. You can see it's a nice little sized box. It has a belly band and inside here I put four, four cards and four envelopes and they fit just perfectly in there. I'm going to use the Watercolor Wonder Designer Series paper. You can see it's two-sided. Both of these would look good, but we're going to use this. You'll need a piece of smoky slate. This is one and a half by 11 inches. Then I did another little piece of the watercolor wonder, and this is one inch by 11 inches. I punched out using uh, gumball green, using my two and three eight scallop circle punch. So you're going to need to use your envelope punch board. This was made for envelopes, but you can make boxes of all different sizes. So our designer series paper is going to be cut at nine by nine. So what you're going to do is take out the little um, scoring tool that comes with it. We're going to line this up. There's all the measurements here. We're going to line this up at three and a half. Okay, we're going to punch. And then there's a little um, indentation here. You're going to go ahead and score. And it will go off a little bit, but that's okay. Then I'm going to go to four and a half. I'm going to punch. And I'm going to do the same thing again. All right, you don't want to go too hard because this paper can tear. Now I'm going to turn it to the opposite side and I'm going to do the same thing again. Three and a half, score, four and a half, punch and score. All right, now I'm going to turn it to the other side, but, okay? Now, you can't see it on this side. There you go. It's a little bit easier on this side for me. I don't know for you. Um, but I need to have it on this side. My score lines are right here. All right, so I'm going to, and gosh, this is really hard to see. Um, all right, here it is right here. I'm going to line this up this little thing right here with that score line. I'm going to punch and I'm going to score. And then my other score line was right here. Great piece of paper for the video. All right, so it's lined up right there. I'm going to punch and score. I'm going to do it now on the opposite side, the side that doesn't have any notches, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to find my score lines. It's easier for me to kind of see it up here. Line it up with this. Punch and score. This is real stamping. Let's see. Um, okay, follow my own advice here. and score. All right. And that's all we'll need for this. Now what I want to do is I'm going to cut out, um, there's a little square at the um, in each of these areas. You can really kind of see it pretty good here. So I'm going to just cut those, cut those out. paper snips instead, and I'm going to cut, cut that out. And then this is what our piece will look like. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to score on all those fold lines. And again, I'm not going to score it too hard because I don't want my paper um, to rip. And so far it's doing really well.
in this beautiful paper. I just think this is my very favorite one. I love blues and greens. And when I saw this paper, I just went crazy. I could use a whole pack just of this, this paper. All right, so that's how your box, oh, isn't that pretty, is going to come together. Now, something that you might want to do, and let's just look here that I, I think I did it on this one. I went ahead and cut this little tab. Now here, here's a one of a sample that I was doing, and I did not cut it, so it's kind of preference on on what you would like. Um, I think I'm going to leave it for this one, but that can be your choice there. So, and when it comes together, you can see that um, you're going to need some sticky strip right there to connect that, and then a piece going up there. So I'll go ahead and um, do that, and now we'll go ahead and take off now when you go to put your box together it probably would be good to have inside what you're going to put it just helps to put it together but when you're doing this, you want to be sure that you don't take this piece over too far because then your box isn't going to be straight. So just be mindful of that, that you want this to be as straight as you can and not listing over like that. So I'm going to go ahead and okay, there we go. And then this side. Now I'm going to just take my bone folder inside just so I can get push that down. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love that. So pretty. The next thing that I want to do is make my belly band. So I'm going to take my two strips and add adhesive. I really like to make sure I have enough on this piece because sometimes it'll buckle. And I don't like that. Okay, and then put this down the center. Oops. <laughs> A dimensional. Big surprise. I'm going to just take my bone folder and make sure that is really adhered. Alright, I already cut out my, my gumball green and put holes in each of the scallops. Alright, and now I'm going to use a piece of Whisper White and I'm going to use the set Yippee Skippy. You can never have too much happy. I'm going to use that with um, Island Indigo. And I'm going to use the um, Starburst Framelits. These are in the Occasions Mini, and I'm going to use this size right here. It just kind of fits perfectly right there, and cut that out with my Big Shot. Now, I've already made one, so we're all set to go. I'm going to add some uh, dimensionals to the back of this. I'm going to put some just up the center here because that's where it will sit on my um, my belly band. Now I put some cards in my box because it just helps when you're putting your belly band on. Going to fold that. Alright. I'm going to 
just put my finger here because I know that's where the edge of that is. And then I'm going to put my snail. Actually, I could go a pot farther because my scallop will be there. And then I'll go ahead and put this on. Cover up that seam. And there's my little box. Isn't that pretty? Well, I hope you have fun making one of these. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. And take care. Bye.